everyone, welcome back. This is my review of Alright, sorry about that. Um, this is my review of Cross Managed Manga Chapter 8. Finally. God, how long has it been since Chapter 7, really? However, see, this is kind of interesting that there's actually two chapters out now, so I guess the author, because of such a long hiatus, to decided to write two chapters instead, so, you know, I get, the, I mean, doesn't really make up for being gone for so long, like in general, but it's still kind of nice, so, in this video I'm going to do my review of chapter 8, and next video I'll be doing my review of chapter 9, so yeah, so, basically there's a lot that happened in this chapter, right, chapter 8, that I want to discuss. Alright, the first one is a scene with Sakura uh, claiming that Toyoguchi is acting weird after the ending of the last chapter. Uh, and he suspects that it does have something to do with Hayamiyo, who in this chapter we learn her first name is Sakura. And then there's a scene with a new character who seems to be all over Sakura for some reason. Uh, I guess she's in the uh, lacrosse club, and her name is Sawa Sawa Hirosa. Alright, uh, and you know, these first few scenes go by pretty fast. There's a scene with Sakura being called a pervert by the that one chick, the hot-headed one in the lacrosse club. I forget her name. So throughout, and she never, she's never named throughout this chapter. I know she was given a name before, but I forget what it was. So. Throughout this chapter, I'm going to, throughout this review, I'm going to be referring to her as that one girl because they refuse to give her a name again. Alright, and it, so then Sakura reveals that he's been taking notes on the team member's skill and achievements and wants to show it to them, and then that one girl just blows up at him. Alright. So, Alright, so, so, I mean, it all, basically it all starts with Sakura asking how much motivation does everyone have? And then that one girl claims that there's not one person in this club who wants to work with him. And Sakura yeah, surprisingly blows up at her, saying, t telling her not to lump them together with someone like you who has no guts. And th which I was actually really surprised at. Honestly, it, it seems like he's really getting into this whole uh, like lacrosse club manager thing. The girl lacrosse club manager thing, mind you. And then he asks what their goal is, and she says that they're dead set on winning the championships, and he says, isn't that everyone's? And then you nailed it, you know? So we've... Obviously, that... The point of competition to win. Then Sakura gives a really long speech. She says, and I quote, if that's the case, let's try doing this only only here every day. After that, we're going to do this muscle training routine in the mornings and evenings. And then, even if it's time for rest, we're going to use it to get a feeling for the cross. Aren't you all just people who started lacrosse in this high school club with, the, with zero experience? If we're all at the starting line together, the people who adapt quickly will have an advantage. In order to do a sport that utilizes a tool, you have to get used to that tool first. Generally speaking, you'll have to get so used to it that you'll be able to use it as if it was a part of your body. Honestly, people who get happy just because their shot hit the target, or they threw a pass to a teammate who knows how to do it, can't win. Wow. I think he just nailed it on the head right there. 
And then that one girl says, you, do you think you can act cheeky j when you're just a leech? You know, and of course Dr. I doesn't like that, asking it, you know, basically challenging her to tell him that she, that he's wrong. And then Sawa Hirosa, the new character in this chapter again, um, says that that girl doesn't have a lot of consideration. Isn't that great? What's wrong, Misori? You're ma making a cute face. It's a little bit of humor right there, which I wasn't too fond of. Alright, and then that basically ends that scene. And the next scene is with Toyoguchi, Sawa Hirosa, and that one girl eating lunch and talking. The one girl says, "What? What's up with that? Are you sure you didn't just fall ill? So you didn't know that he fell ill and quit the soccer club and never mentioned it, and he never mentioned it to you? Well, you did nothing wrong." And Toyoguchi says, "But I forced him to admit that I forced that. She, basically, she admits that she forced him to do it." She knew that he quit the soccer club, and she admits that she knows that soccer. I really wants to return to the soccer club, even if he won't admit to it. And then that one girl basically bluntly says that she wouldn't mind if he returns to the soccer club, much to uh, Toyoguchi's displays, of course. And then Salahirosa. Um questions if they actually need Sakurai's help to get better at lacrosse. And Toyoguchi asks, isn't it okay? He seems to have gotten kind of motivated. And Sawahirosa says, well, we should throw him out. And Toyoguchi says, if you're saying we should let him... Oh, you know. Sawa Hirosa asked if we if they should throw him out, and Toyoguchi says basically says you know if you're saying we should let him do soccer yes, but it was me who ordered him to do it. And that one girl says you're so indecisive. What do you want to do after all? And Sawa Hirosa says says is Misora the type that's surprisingly devoted to boys? <laughs> Is it alright to be easy going? Will you let Hayami snatch Sakurai away? This is actually getting pretty... This next part is actually pretty humorous, I think. Toyuji says, you know, snatch away. And South Hero says, you might not get... Not, not stay together with Sa You might not stay together with Sakurai anymore. And Toyuji says, no way! And... And she basically starts getting all crazy again like she does when she gets shocked by something really big and you know her system started overloading relax try to clear your mind for now Misora you know that was pretty funny um then Sahirosa says but en but anyway Haya Hayami huh that's going to be tough and this next part here is basically where we learn a lot of or a little bit about Hayami. You know, do you know about her? She's famous. She's kind, smart, and beautiful. She's the very picture of every guy's ideal girl. However, she re she's rejected countless guys who wanted to become her boyfriend. Right, and that ends that scene. Fairly lengthy scene, I know. Um... Uh... Then the next scene is with Sakura Hayami walking in the halls looking for Sakurai, and then uh, Sakura finds Sakurai. And, you know, and some random guy just through the halls, basically to confirm to confirm what Sawa Hirosa previously said, yells, "Hey!" S oh wait, no. <sighs> no. Yeah, when she when uh, Sakura's looking for Sa Sakurai, some other random guy through the hall just basically makes note of her in the hall, and 
looking at some other guys are just staring at her and whatnot. And then when she finds Sakurai, some random guy says, Hey Sakurai, please hide us. Sakurai says, Do you did you take peeping photos again? And some this is actually pretty humorous right here. So that random guy says, That's wrong. We're appreciating the aesthetic beauty of flapping skirts. Well, I have to give them this. That's an original excuse that I've definitely never heard of before, so... I have to give them points for originality here. Alright, and then Sakura says, oh, oh, here's where you've been, Sakura. I, I, And, Sak and Sakurai said, basically says, just in time, I was looking for Toriyumi, Tori much to Sakura's dismay. And then some random girl says, hey, that's the extremely handsome Shogi Club president. No way, he's here. Let's take a good look at him up close. It's not his usual dreamy aura. Don't be childish. How is he? And then the next scene is revealing the new character that they were just talking about, Tori Yumi, who seems to... I think I can tell pretty well by now that he and uh, Sakura don't get along for some reason. Why that is isn't exactly revealed yet, though. And then Sakura is gone by now. He's in the uh, lacrosse club uh, storage, I think it is, or something like that. And the final scene is basically with Toyoguchi looking for Sakurai, however, Sakura finds him first and asks him to take his clothes off. Really? She asked him to take his clothes off? Wow. Well, that pretty much sums up the summary of this chapter. So yeah, a lot happened in this chapter. Um, Which is good, you know, it was only 20 pages long and the first, or the, technically 19 of content, because the last page wasn't even a content-filled page. So technically just 19 pages filled with content, but, you know, it was, it was well used, though. So what I think of this chapter in the, chapter in the end, well, now that we finally got an update to this manga again, this chapter was really good. Alright, um, it revealed a new character, Toriyumi, as well as another new character, Sawa Sawa Hirosa. Alright, which, so far, those two characters don't look like they'll be very major at all, but who knows, I could be wrong about that in the future, but... Right now, the main thing I think that this manga is trying to focus on is... is, um... Sakurai and Toyoguchi's relationship, and Sakurai and Sakura's relationship, and perhaps even Toyoguchi and Sakura's relationship as well. Because I, I think anyone could really tell you that they, these three are probably going to be the three involved with the love triangle. I mean, this is if there's going to be one, because I think this is classified as a romance as well, so, you know. Um... So yeah, really my only major complaint is it isn't really doesn't really have to deal with the chapter itself. It just has to deal with the long ass fucking wait. We've had to wait for the chapter, but chapter nine's out right now as well, so right after this I can do my review of chapter uh nine, which is really good. Also I just really wish that that one girl, which I still refer to her as that because I don't remember her name, um but stop being such a bitch to Sakurai, okay? I do not do not like that character right now. Right, period. So yeah, well, this review went actually kind of long, like, be nice. But, anyways, overall, hope you enjoyed this review, guys. See you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye bye.